Hi dear students you are welcome. This is Indian writing in English and we are covering uh, the history of Indian writing in English and here you can see uh, the beginning of Indian English literature and we are covering right from 1800 to 1947 and this is the second part because in the first part we talked about the poetry and prose in this period in history of Indian writing in English. Now in this video we are going to talk about drama, biography, autobiography and fiction. So we are covering these genres of literature. Before that let's understand very first what type of questions might be asked in your examinations or these type of questions will be asked. So these questions are for your reference. You can understand these questions and find out the answer of these questions in this video because we are taking all these questions. So here we have very first question discuss pre-independence Indian English drama. So here drama our concern is then question number second pre-independence Indian biography and autobiography in English. So these two genres we are covering here in this video again question number three pre-independence Indian English short story it is the part of uh, uh, fiction we have taken it separate then we have number four elaborate on the rise of Indian fiction in English so these questions we are going to address now let's start or begin with very first drama 1800 to 1947 before that let me tell you this book is very important uh, in the previous video too I have given you the reference of this book this is very important a history of Indian English literature by MK Naik and it is published by Sahitya Academy you can have this book for more details about how Indian uh, writing in English has been developed or how Indian English literature is developed so you can have all the details in this book so if you can find this book please read this book now let's talk about drama in this period so 1800 to 1947 and uh, here very first we have Krishna Mohan Banerjee now he can considered as one of the earliest dramatists of in, uh, Indian English literature so here we have his some of the place now you can see here the persecuted or dramatist scenes illustrated of the present state of Hindu society in Calcutta. It is published in 1831. So there are a few dramatists who composed dramas or plays in English. And here very first name we have Krishna Mohan Banerjee. Second we have Michael Madhusudan Dutt before we talked about his poetry or other fiction. So here we have his translated plays. Now he... Uh, basically wrote in Bengali and he translated his Bengali plays into English. So here we have three plays Ratna Valley 1858 then Shamista 1859 is this called civilization it is published in 1871. So this is post independence but we have included pre and post independence too because the authors belongs to pre independence era. Then we have Sri Arbindo whose poetry also is famous. We talked about Savitri and here we have his play The Witch of Ilni, A Dream of the Woodlands and uh, 1891 and second is we have Achab and SR. So these two plays are on the name of Sri Arbindo. Next figure in the field of drama we have Rabindranath Tagore and he is very famous as we all know that he is a very versatile personality in literature and he composed uh, novels, he composed fiction or he composed short stories, essays, then he composed uh, uh, very the different kinds of literature and here we have Ravidhanath Tagore as a dramatist and his some of the famous plays we have the post office then the king of the dark chamber chitra the cycle of springs and chandalika these are very famous english plays so you can see here and this is ravindranath tagore then we have as panchapakesa ayer and he composed the plays called in the clash of devil then we have the trial of science for the murder of humanity if you look at this title you will understand there might be some relation between the uh, humanity and science or there might be some uh, evils made by science against the humanity and hence we find this type of title trial of science for the murder of humanity there might be some experiment of science which is against the humanity then we have Sat Sita's choice and other place then we have slave of the ideas and other place so these are the plays uh, written by A.S. Panchpakesha Iyer then we have Thyagaraja Paramasiva Kailasam 
and he wrote little lays and plays then we have the burden and fulfillment karna or the brahmin's curse so these are some of the plays written by Thyagaraja. Now, if you look at all these plays, these are pre-independence plays and they have contributed in the development of Indian English drama. So, we are talking about drama from 1800 to 1947. Next, we have number 7, Bharti Sarabhai. Now, women dramatists also are important in this period and here we have uh, Bharti Sarabhai and the well of the people and two women are notable plays composed by her and here you can see the well of the uh, people by Bharti Sarabhai. This is a very important play, early play in the development of Indian writing in English. So, if you find this play, you can read. It's a very good play written in simple language. Then we have Joseph Matthias Lobo Prabhu and he wrote a dozen play and among this dozen plays we have some important plays like mother of new india play of the indian village in three acts then we have the death's abdicates these plays are important then we have surendra rath bose next playwright vn bhushan and armando manages these playwrights are important in this period 1800 to 1947 now dear students let's talk about the development of biography in this period and here you have the biography and we have H.P. Moody's biography, Sir Firoz Shah Mehta, here you can see a political biography published in 1921, then N.C. Kelkar's Landmarks in Lokmanya's Life, it is based on Lokmanya Tilak's life, uh, this is based on Sir Firoz Shah Mehta's life, 1924 and uh, uh, next we have P.C. Ray and his life and times of C.R. Das. Again, the matter of the biography is C.R. Das based on C.R. Das life. Then we have again a very famous autobiography by R.P. Masani and this is Dada Bhai Nauruji, the grand old man of India, 1947. Seven and later, so many writers and uh, common people also called Dada Bhai Nauruji as the grand old man of India or the grand old man and here you can see this biography Dada Bhai Noruji the grand old man of India which is very important you can read it uh, this biography it is in 579 pages uh, written in English by R.P. Masani so these are some of the biographies or earliest biographies in English next we have autobiographies and in autobiographies too we have so many autobiographies some are very famous uh, for example we have D.K. Carvey's autobiography looking back 1936 then we have N.C. Banerjee's autobiography at the crossroads then we have Dhan Gopal Mukherjee's autobiography cast and outcast so these autobiographies are very important and again there are some most famous Indian writers in English and among them we have Mulkaraj Anand and R.K. Narayan Mulkaraj Anand's apology for heroism is very famous autobiography and my days by R.K. Narayan also is very famous here you can see this is my days autobiography by R.K. Narayan and this is the picture of R.K. Narayan so, and in this uh, line we have Vijaya Lakshmi Pandit Krishna Kutti Singh and Sunita Devi so autobiography writers are also very important in this period so these autobiographies must be noted by women uh, writers uh, in 1800 to 1947 then we have Cornelia Sorabji, Santha Ramarao and Iswani so here these autobiographies of these writers are famous in this period next we have the fiction the development of fiction in this particular period and very first we have Bankim Chandra Chatterjee and Bankim Chandra Chatterjee's Rajmohan's wife is considered as the first Indian English novel. Now you can understand from where the fiction or Indian English novel has begun and here we have first name Bankim Chandra Chatterjee. Actually this novel is written in 1864 but published later in 1935. So Indian English novel has been developed uh, right from uh, 1864 we can say that but it is published in 1900. 35 and among uh, these uh, fiction writers we have women fiction writers like Toru Dutt, Kripa Bhai, Sithya Nadan and Shevanti Bhai and Nikumbe. So again these three women uh, novelists also are important in this period and we can uh, see that how women also have tried their hand in writing and we have a very uh, generous or we can say that fine tradition in writing by women with these novels. Again we have 
Umesh Chandra Dutt in this lineup. Then we have Ramakrishna Pillai, and next we have Jogendra Singh. And here you can see uh, the first novel. Uh, this is Rajmohan's Wife by Bankim Chandra Chatterjee. If you find this novel, you can read this novel. It's very interesting novel, and you will generate a kind of interest while reading the novel. And you will have the scenario of that time, that period, if you read this novel. Next, we have in fiction writers uh, some again very famous names, and uh, basically, this fiction is influenced by Gandhian movement or the Gandhian ferment of social, economic, and cultural changes at that time, and how Gandhi has struggled for the freedom of India and how people joined Gandhi. Everything has been seen by uh, these writers from very closely, and they have written on the topics uh, when they faced with the society and here we find that uh, K.S. Venkat Ramani has written a few uh, novels for example Murugan the thriller the, then Kandan the patriot a novel of new India and these novels are based on the theme of Gandhian idealism so you find Gandhian idealism or Gandhian thoughts in these novels of many writers then we have ASP Iyer's Three Men of Destiny. Then we have Krishna Swami Nagarajan and very famous Mulkaraj Anand. So here you can see the picture of Mulkaraj Anand. And he composed so many novels. But here we have some important novels uh, uh, written. So here you see that Untouchables 1935. Then we have Kuli 1936. Two Leaves and a Bird. Then we have Village Across the Black Waters. Then we have the sword and the sickle so these are the trilogy now uh, this is the village across the black waters and the sword and the sickle is a trilogy composed by anand now mulkaraj anand's topic or themes if you read his novels you will understand that how downtrodden people were exploited in the society and how they had faced so many issues so many problems in the society uh, anand has closely observed the life of this downtrodden and untouchables and he composed on them so we can find his characters stating a kind of exploitation in his novels and here uh, you see that Mulkaraj Anand's title also gives you information about the theme which is included in his novels. For example, The Untouchables, then we have Kuli, Two Leaves and a Bird, then a, The Village, uh, Across the Black Water. So, this type of titles we find in Anand. Next, we have R.K. Narayan, again a very famous novelist of the period. And he is the creator of the fictional town called Malgudi. Here you see many uh, in his stories and fiction or novels you find this place Malgudi. It is an imaginary town in South India created by R.K. Narayan. So here we have his some novels Swami and Friends 1935, The Bachelor of Arts 1937, The Dark Room 1938, The English Teacher 1946. These are the pre-independence novels written by R.K. Narayan. Now we have some post-independence novels, means these novels uh, he composed after India got freedom or India got independence. Now Mr. Sampath, we have post-independence novel, Financial Expert, then we have The Guide on which we have a Bollywood movie too. You can uh, read this guide or you can watch the movie based on The Guide with the same name, The Guide. Then we have The Man Eater of Malgudi, Waiting for the Mahatma and Waiting for Mahatma is completely based on a love theme and Gandhian theme. So, you can read this waiting for Mahatma. Now, observation and depictions of small details are central points of his fiction, means R.K. Narayan's fiction. You find observation and depiction of small details in his novels, in his writing, in his stories too. Now, let's understand uh, next writer who is Raja Rao. Again, a very famous writer, Mulkaraj Anand, R.K. Narayan and Raja Rao. This trio has given a great contribution to the field of Indian writing in English and they were very famous writers and here we have Raja Rao and who composed four uh, novels or uh, four stories. We have Kanthapura 1936. It is based on the Gandhianism again. Then the serpent and the rope its love and marriage theme we find in it and in post independence we have the cat and shakespeare it is an attempt at philosophical fiction published in 1965 and uh, we have his number fourth novel comrade kirilo 
1926 and its the uh, theme is based on communism as you see the title comrade kirillo uh, kirillo is a russian uh, title and comrade you can know and this is based on the communism now uh, raja rao is the recipient of so many prestigious awards for example he received sahitya academy award in 1964 then he received padma bhushan in 1969 and the padma vibhushan in 2007 so he is the writer of grand stature we here we can see and this is raja rao now dear students let's understand the short story in this period we have divided uh, fiction into two parts one is novel and the second is short story and here we have some of the famous short story writers for example t l natesan uh, the children of kaveri create cheers uh, this depicts the rustic life of tamil nadu uh, by natesan and uh, next we have asp iyer again who is a fiction writer he has three collections on his, his name indian after dinner stories then sense in sex and other stories then we have the finger of destiny and other stories these three collections have composed by asp iyer and these are very important collections in early indian writing in english then we have sk chetur's uh, short story collections for example we have muffled drums and other stories the cobras of dharma she shevi and other stories then mango seed and other stories stories of village feuds murders and legends so what you find in these stories you have village feuds murderers and legends so these stories are thrilling stories by sk chetur and here you have indian after dinner stories by a s panchapakesha ayer so this is also a very important short story collection if you find you can read it next stories we have by k s venkat ramani again k natarajan then manjeri iswaran a women uh, short story writer and mulkaraj anand again mulkaraj anand is uh, famous for his fiction and he uh, he has composed so many short story collections including the lost child and other stories the barber's trade union and other stories the tractor and the corn goddess and other stories then we have power of darkness and other stories reflections on the golden bed and other stories lajwanti and other stories between tears and other stories so these are seven short story collections which are very famous by mulkaraj anand and here you have the barber trade union and other stories a collection and you can read this collection or a few stories from this collection so that you can understand uh, the very uh, time of mulkaraj anand and how he composed what kind of characters he included in this short story so these are the important short story writers and uh, next we have uh, and these are the last short story writers in our video so here we have again r k narayan a very famous fiction writer and he wrote the story collections like cyclone and other stories dodu and other stories malgudi days and astrologers day and other stories lolly road and other stories a horse and two goats so this astrologers day and other stories also is a very famous short story collection and here uh, you can see cow of the barricades by raja rao who is a next uh, short story writer the cow of the barricades and other stories very famous 1947 then we have the policeman and the rose 1978 then we have the last short story writer in this series k a abbas and he wrote some short story collections like rice and other stories cages of freedom and other stories then we have 1000 nights on the bed of stones and other stories the black sun and other stories so these story collections have been composed by k a abbas so you can read any of this story uh, to understand the development of short story writing in the pre independence period that is 1800 to 1947 so this is all about uh, the short story writers biography writers then autobiography writers who have composed fiction i hope you understand all these writers if you have any problem any query you can comment below in the comment section i will answer to your comments so let's meet in the next video thank you very much